Good morning guys. Something a little bit different today. Um, we're down, some of you might recognise this mark on the weirs, if you can hear me. Don't know what the quality of sound is like on this camera still, but we're down on the weirs. Um, we're going to try some jigging, well spinning for bass. As the seawater meets the fresh water, just cause that little bit of um, disturbance. But yeah, it's, it's a fabulous bit of um, bit of ground. Yeah, I'm using the rockfish one to seven gram, and I've got a little. It's a twelve, not seven seven gram jig, but I'm gonna try and. Bring out through the water. Up as five tide, well up as five this morning. Up as five. So the sun has not even come up yet. The only problem is, is landing his fish if we go in. You do see him moving through, through here and up over the weirs. Ian, from pool to pool fishing, he's setting up his beach caster. He's going to put a, a joey mackerel down there, so as the tide floods. But we do use um, sidewinders. Jellies, jigs. Rhubarb and custards work well by you as well. Had some nice fish out here. My biggest is about a six pound. But you do get threes, fours, fives, quite regular. Oh, was that a take then? Um, no. get anything. I'll come straight back to you. It would be nice to have an actual take live. Sun's just coming up now guys. A bit of luck. So will the fish. Oh, the sun's up. The sun's just come up. And the fish are here. I just had one chase me in. I think it was um, a bass anyway. But uh, I think they've just arrived. I've got a rhubarb custard on at the moment, which is usually. usually works well down here. Sorry if I said this in your eyes. Oh, in block in the view. Let me get up out of the weir. You can see it filling up now. 
hopefully we'll be able to see the fish move up move up over this has to be away should be fine there is a snag over there it's probably full of <laughs> full of lures but it is it is magic yeah so, um, a few years ago I come down here yeah, and it was like setting off the David Attenborough um, up on that second we uh, you can stand and you can watch the fish they just hold in the weir as the water's coming over waiting to pass up through and they, they must come up breed spawn I mean and uh, make their way back out but on the on the ebb you can they just in the side and you can dangle whatever you want in front of them and they will not they will not touch you they're not interested yeah so i've come up on the on the second weir as you can see we're not far off now and hopefully the fish will be here as well yeah you can see it now look Usually see the fish move up through the middle of the weir. I haven't seen nothing yet, which is not normal. You see, they, they move up through, and you do see them, and they do old. Oh, here they are. Here they move. I don't even see them in the middle. They're moving up through now. I've got my glasses on now, so it takes a knee off the water. But they are moving up through. Oh, yep, we not. We not. Yeah. I'm going to have to come down here Yeah Go down on the rocks for there to get him in That's um, rhubarb custard
Oh, lovely bass. there. Wow, I really hope I got that on camera for you. It's going back in. Um, it's fabulous. Um, I'm trying to find a safe place to put him back in. That would be for his muddy. Um, he should swim. He should swim with me. I'll give him a little... I don't like doing this because I like him to recover. But I don't want to keep him and it is a bit dangerous for me to go down so what I'll do Yeah straight away he's gone So we had that in on a rhubarb and custard on probably the slowest retrieve ever follow the weirs up with the fish and uh, you do see the fish move over I hope I caught some of that on on footage for you then and you could see the fish moving up over but the rhubarb and custard have always worked good here yeah? always worked good so with a bit of luck now we can get another one out hopefully a bit bigger that one went back he did struggle he did struggle to go back but he went and he made a full recovery, so I might be there. But yeah, hopefully now. Put my sunglasses on. See these fish. I'm with um, Ian from Pool to Pool Fishing. I will put a link to his page. Check it out, He's, um, he comes on a sims with us as well. Him, his missus and his kids and they love it, fabulous. Yeah, yeah, a lot of weeds. Though. This is the one place I think you could probably just manage to launch a sib on eye water and go out to the Ebu, out the Esk, into the estuary. Um, but they would, out well, there. You would be having a 12 hour sesh. Not sure where that I'd want a 12 hour sesh in, uh, in the winter mind. What happened here? We got one of these to try now, Rapala. Rapala, Rapala. Shallow diver, tiger fire. Does they work or some trolling down down on a sib? And you've got to work these. They dive down a bit. Might be that. Oh, did I just have a take in? Fish on. Yep, fish on. Yay! Hey! Oh, he dropped there. Dropped there. A 
I don't got one on. Oh, I'll see, I dropped that in. Oh. It's not a bad morning out. The sun is out. See, the tide has really pushed up now. It's probably come up about three metres since, uh, since we got here. Go down and see again now. We haven't got much time left. Any anything? Only that one. On that. Yeah. Yeah. Any size? Will it? Fifty two. Fleet jubbly. Oh look at that, that's a belt there, uh, fair play, well done eh? That must have been nice looking down here, I seen a... Uh, and I got a take on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> look at that, it's fabulous.